What's up everybody? It's your boy Ryan and this is the Thunder Channel on nootropics and a lot of other stuff. Thanks so much for being with me. I'm going to talk about nootropics on short trips and uh, I'll give you an idea of my essentials, so stuff that I bring, uh, and then kind of how to map it all out. Do you bring a scale? Do you not bring a scale? Do you want to be bringing powder with you? Etc. All the sort of details. Um, in the meantime, what sports this broadcast a couple of epic nootropic products. Number one, Cortex stack. Powerful pre-made stack. I usually take Cortex an hour or so before doing videos on, on some days. Some days it's other stacks, but when I do, my verbal fluency is just through the roof. I did not take Cortex today, but I did take a combination of some racetam, some teacrine, a little bit of theanine, had some coffee and so I'm in a great place. Cortex stack just delivers everything though. Get it live, Cortex.com. Do singular or auto ship. Auto ship gets you shipped at the same time for the same price to your doorstep every 30 days. And if you're new to Cortex, do auto ship initially, and then if you don't love the stack, you can just cancel it, but you'll have gotten it for cheaper. Nootropics Ground Zero. If you are new to nootropics, look, it's a video course that I created that lays out the road, shows you how to use nootropics the right way. You'd probably save about three years just getting that course. If you're in a couple years and you're sort of stagnating or you just want to get better results with nootropics, get the nootropics masterclass. That's a video course that I created that is much more advanced, but will put you at the six year plus level of using them. Uh, if you're a guy that has to supercharge not only testosterone, but the neurochemical side of libido, the nitric oxide and dopamine side and neurotransmitter binding side of erection quality, get the male sexual rejuvenation program. It is the most comprehensive kind of male sexual rejuvenation program there is out there. That's why it's named so simply. And then lastly, if you're a, a, a young middle-aged or older business male that uh, wants to improve brain performance, uh, change your response to stimulants, basically resensitize, resensitize your response to stimulus. Maybe you've come off of a pharmaceutical uh, stimulant and your brain does not work very well, you're not motivated, maybe you lost some libido, your drive generally isn't there, or you feel pretty much fine but want to function at that next level using nootropics and want to establish a set of really, really tailored nootropic stacks for you. Work with me on a three and a half month or a six month basis. Those consults you can find at livecortex.com, go book them. Almost booked for the rest of the winter. Okay, so let me just give you the introduction. Um, you know, I have in my history, and I'm I'm now taking a lot of short trips, whether it's like an Airbnb here, or somewhat recently I went uh, kind of up, up upstate Ohio and visited some people. And you know, like I, I think, I like taking trips, you know, to me, it's a, it's a getaway from my everyday, sort of the everyday grind of things, you know, um, and I recently, you know, met some folks here in Pittsburgh that kind of just like to, to take trips and it's just been this, this fun thing. And so I, I do take nootropics with me and I kind of want to talk about my essentials and then how to, how to, uh, how to bring them, how to manage all the powder, et cetera, whether or not to bring a scale. So the six things I'm going to give you that are my essentials are the following. Number one, B vitamins. B vitamins. B vitamins are always essential in this situation where you're sort of not going to have your whole slew of nootropics in front of you to work with. So in the event that you end up either overstimulated or with like your, your stack wasn't devised quite right because you didn't have enough time or whatever, B vitamins can regulate, you know, usually overages or weird side effects of nootropics if you haven't dosed them correctly. In addition to that, you may be on a trip or something and just kind of need that extra bump of energy but not feel like manage, you know, managing powder or whatever, taking nootropics or even previous before you went. You're like, you know, I'd rather just take some B vitamins, maybe some teacrine 100 milligram capsules. That's kind of why B, but B vitamins are useful in this situation. Number two for me is L-theanine, L-theanine. Again, because in this, this same example, like you, you just want to have that as sort of a a fail safe in case a stack stimulates you too much. I mean, your environment is different. If you're gonna be out in nature or out in sort of an energized type of environment, then you could overstimulate yourself with nootropics and theanine helps. Also taking trips, I mean, I guess it depends on which trip you're taking, but if you're going out to nature, or if you're going out to take some sort of relaxation trip, L-theanine actually really jives with that, right? Because it's a, it's, a, it's a relaxation type of nootropic in terms of what it's doing to neurotransmitters. Uh, number three, moda, moda, whatever kind of analog that, that you respond well to. But honestly, I go tried and true. So regular moda tablets, which are 200 milligrams, I get a sharp knife, a really, really sharp knife and cut them into fours. So I've just got 50 milligrams, little sliv slivers of it. That, that is really the most useful thing. 
you know, I'll throw down 50 milligrams or something right in the morning with some coffee. And, and in most cases, that's kind of all I need if I'm gonna be doing things that require a lot of energy for consistent periods of time. Number four, aniracetam. Probably one of my favorite nootropics in the world. Definitely my favorite racetam. So I just think aniracetam is useful to have. And I'm, again, I'm gonna to get to like in, in what quantity you should sort of bring this and how you should do this. Uh, number five, a choline source. Choline source, pretty critical. I'm not always going to be eating eggs on trips and you may not either. Uh, CDP choline is my choline source of choice. I usually just dose that. Number six, teacrine. Teacrine. Just because it's a really, really simple nootropic compound that'll just give you energy, right? It's like, it, you don't have to get very in depth with, uh, and I, again, breaking down powders. It's just, and you may not even have to stack a bunch of things together. You just take teacrine, have some coffee, maybe a little theanine, then you're on your way. Okay, so those are the six essentials that I like to bring if I'm gonna be taking trips. So let's, let's break this down. I'll start from the top. B vitamins are kind of self-explanatory. You should probably bring, for every day that you're on your trip, you should bring a, a, a B vitamin, just a simple B complex. Uh, I'm usually usually using Jarrow, B right, and in some other cases, a, a run of the mill B complex and I might have to rush get on the way or something. Um, so just carry as many B vitamins, single B vitamin tablets as the days that you're on your trip. I usually take a B vitamin, a B complex every single day of my life. So that's just a, an essential either way. Uh, L-theanine, okay? So listen, I don't think that, it, in, unless you're gonna be gone on this trip for more than a week, you really shouldn't be dealing with powder and crap and scales and all this sort of stuff. You should, you should pre-make everything before you leave. And honestly, the best way to do it as it relates to L-theanine, for me, is to make 100 milligram capsules for as many days as I'm gonna be there. Now, usually I'll come home and have not depleted all of the nootropics that I made, but that's fine, I can set them aside. I know what they are. I usually put them in small little jewelry boxes, like labeled with a small little uh, stick-on label. So I'll make, if I'm going away for four days, I'll just make four 100 milligram capsules of L-theanine. And then I'll put them in a small little jewelry box. It's almost like a mini Tupperware container and then a small little stick-on label. Uh, both of those products you can get on Amazon, and I'll just write on here, 4X, 100 milligrams theanine. Uh, the Moda self-explanatory, again, I cut that in 50 milligram increments, and I, I won't take as much Moda as days as I'm gonna be away. So if I'm going away for four days, which is, for me at least, you know, the, the, the well, at least lately, the, the largest quantity of time that I'm away, uh, I'll just bring like two 50 milligram chopped up you know tablets of moda and and that's it because I, I won't want to be taking it every day and it might be good for one day where there's a lot of things that are going on like out in nature or whatever that might have to happen uh like somewhat recently i was doing a wine tasting and modafinil was actually really useful to keep me energized like through it all because by 3 p.m i was like half drunk i'm like all right we gotta back off here um the aniracetam same concept as the l-theanine uh it depends on your dose and what you respond really well to, but these days I'm, I'm really dosing aniracetam on the low end, three to 500 milligrams. So I'll just make two to four 400 milligram capsules of aniracetam, set them in a small container, a jewelry style, like a small little Tupperware container, stick on label 4X, 100, or 4X uh, 400 milligrams aniracetam. And I probably won't take all the aniracetam. Again, that's just that's that's just something to have. It's just sort of my prep work for, for doing this. Choline source would be the same thing. So you should weigh out what your what your average choline source is with stacks and then and then take a little bit less. That's kind of where I end up in because I mean I'm not ultimately taking high powered stacks on these kind of trips. They're just if I need to sit down and do some laptop work or if I'm needing to have a particular amount of energy for a day or if I just want to have the experience of being able to remember everything and have a good processing day where there's a lot of stuff going on, then aniracetam, uh, you know, and choline source are really useful. But uh, so I would dose a little lower on the choline source. So my typical dose on choline, choline, CDP choline is 75 milligrams or so. So I'll just take 50 milligram increments and make four capsules of 50 milligrams each put them in the Tupperware container, the jewelry style, small Tupperware container, stick on label where I can write you know, 4X, 50 milligrams, CDP coin. And then teacrine. Teacrine is the same. So I'll dose out 50 milligrams, usually four times. And if I end up taking 100 milligrams in a day, I mean, that's totally fine. I need to take it every day. I have other options here. It's the whole you know, point of this. So again, I'll dose out 
uh, or weigh out 50 milligrams of teocrine four times, put them in four different capsules, put them in the small jewelry container, small jewelry Tupperware container, stick on label, write on it, 4X, 50 milligrams, teocrine. And that's it. That's basically it. If you're not gonna be taking trips that are longer than, you know, a week, you really can do pretty well off of these compounds and most folks respond, you know, well to these. In fact, I'm, I work with a lot of guys who will say to me, hey, I'm going on a three or four day trip, what should I take? And that's basically it. Look, I've been through the process of traveling like on a plane to other places and then bringing all of my nootropics, bringing out aracetam powder and, and none of it got seized because it was all labeled, thankfully. Like I had labeled it and you know, I put it in bags or whatever and some of them I actually brought the whole like Nootropics Depot, like aniracetam tub. So it was labeled, so like the TSA or whatever couldn't really do much about it. Uh, but it was a pain in the ass because I also brought scales and I also brought capsules and I had to weigh shit out, you know, and it just ultimately ends up being super tedious. So this is a good strategy with, you know, I mean, these are my six major compounds. You can choose other six major compounds. Hope you'll have some of these in there. Uh, to, to situate your nootropics usage when, when you're away and make it a lot easier a lot easier because if you're going to be away and if you're traveling and chances are you're probably not you know in a place where it makes sense to wake up and then you weigh things out you're like oh it's like you know unless you have some sort of really really uh cool compact little kit or something that you can put all your nootropics in and you have the scale in there and the measuring spoons and the capsules and the capsule maker and all that kind of crap which is i don't know it's just a little excessive for me and i've done it before and it was a pain in the ass so um, those would be my suggestions. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being with me. It has been fun. It has been awesome. More content to come soon. Go support us live. Cortex.com. Cortex stack. Powerful. Nootropic stack. Nootropics round zero if you're new. You got to get that course. You got to watch it. You got to pay attention to it. You got to learn from it. If you're in a couple years and want to ascend to the six year plus mark, Nootropics masterclass where you have to be. If you're a guy that wants to revitalize the brain chemical side of libido, and the nitric oxide and dopamine side of EQ, and rejuvenate sexual function, get the male sexual rejuvenation program. And then lastly, if you'd like to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one capacity, I do have slots open for the winter, but they're closing fast. They sort of come and go uh, on a three and a half month or a six month basis. Just get on it right now and do it at livecortex.com. Look, what makes you a business person is your ability to make decisions, quick decisions and good decisions moving forward because you sort of have that visceral idea of what needs to happen. And if you need to improve brain performance for the coming months, I mean, look, the markets are weird. Things are a little weird right now and you need to be performing the best you can. I know that I am. I am paying particular attention to that. Uh, work with me three and a half months or six months. Do that at livecortex.com. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Talk to you next time.